In the last video, we learned about how to read information from a ROM database. In this video, here I am going to show you how to delete a particular information from a ROM database. So the first step, you need to add the needed method inside the data access object class. So open data access object class. So here we have two methods, one for insert information, uh, second for read information. Now here I am going to add another method for delete information from the database. So here the return type is void. I name the method as delete user. And for this method, uh, we have to pass one parameter that is an object of the user class. So this method represents a delete operation. So you have to specify the annotation delete. So this is the method used for delete a particular information from the database. Now here I am going to add a separate fragment for delete a particular user. So we are going to delete a particular user uh, with its user ID. So here in our table user ID is the primary key. So now create a separate fragment. I name it as delete user fragment so here the fragment is created now here I am going to add the needed user interface for deleting a particular user so here I add the needed user interface for deleting a particular user so here we are going to delete a particular user uh, based on his user ID so here we place an edit text called a user ID and here we have a button called to delete user now we can perform the delete operation so before going to do that uh, open the home fragment layout so when user click the delete user button we have to display the delete user fragment so open the home fragment and here create a button for the delete user so bn delete now initialize that button here so b and delete equal to you don't find it uh, b and delete user okay now set the listener set on click listener into this okay now specify the third condition So if it is uh, bn delete user, in that case we have to display the delete fragment, new delete user fragment. Okay, now we can close the home fragment and corresponding layout. So now we can perform the user deletion. So here uh, we have an edit text and a button. So first thing we have to uh, we have to declare the needed variables and we need to initialize that variables so here i declare the needed variable here i declare an edit text txt user id and a button and here i initialize that two variables so now we can create the click listener for the button so delete button dot set on click listener okay so first we need to get the user id that entered by the user so here the edit text is txt user id so it is an integer i name it as id so here uh, we have to convert that string into integer so we call this method passing so txt user id dot get the text into string okay so now create an object of user class user and equal to no user now set the user id so user dot uh, set id okay so now we can perform the delete operation so main activity dot my app database and get the data access object and call the delete method delete user and pass the corresponding object now display some information to the user get activity user successfully removed uh, 
after delete a particular user uh, we can reset the form so set it actually null okay so now we can test it so run the application So now the application available on this virtual device we can view the database so now here we have two information available on this database now i'm going to delete a particular user with the user id 121 so delete a user specify the user id 121 and delete so here it shows uh, that particular user removed successfully now try to view the user so now that particular user is removed from the database so this is how we remove a particular information from a room database. I hope you understand the concepts. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.